welcome to the DevOps Library, Episode 4, Salt States. We're glad you found yourself here. A special shout out to our friend Sneaky Phil, who thanked us for our last salt tutorial and asked to see more on grains, pillars, reactor, or the salt mine. Rest assured, Sneaky Phil, we're working on those right now. However, this particular tutorial today is actually needed to lay a stronger foundation for you to learn the rest of the features related to salt. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you're already a little familiar with SALT. Maybe you already watched our first tutorial. If not, feel free to watch that before you watch this one. Today, we're going to start with three Ubuntu VMs, one acting as a SALT master and two SALT minions. One will be named Prod Minion and the other Dev Minion. If you'd like to get started quickly, just download our Vagrant file. First, we're going to talk about SALT states. If you remember from before, we were able to run a command on all minions by doing salt star command dot run followed by the name of the command. But what if we want to write a script that does multiple things or ensure several packages are installed? We just need to create a salt state file. To do so, on the master go to srv slash salt. If that directory doesn't exist, create it. Now create a new file named apache dot s l s all salt state files have the extension s l s and are typically in yaml format now type apache 2 colon package colon dash installed what this file is saying is that any time it's called by salt ensure that the package named apache 2 is installed now go ahead and save the file now run the following command salt star state dot sls apache salt will now automatically install apache on both of the minions after it finishes go ahead and run the same command one more time this time salt is just verifying that apache is still installed if it isn't it will reinstall it but for now you should just see two messages saying that the package is already installed now let's look into organizing things a bit. In your SRV slash salt folder, create a new directory named Apache. Move the apache.sls file into that directory. You can now create as many SLS files as you'd like in that directory. To reference them, use the name of the folder followed by a period, then the name of the SLS file without the extension. So as an example, Let's run our Apache module again now that we've moved it. salt star state dot sls apache dot apache. Now let's cd into the Apache folder and rename apache dot sls to init dot sls. That's init dot sls. init dot sls or init sls is called by salt if we don't reference the file directly. So now we can go back to calling salt star apache. That should be enough to get you going on creating states. But let's go ahead and create one more real quick. It'll help us demonstrate high states a little bit later. This time we're going to create a salt state for managing bash rc. Begin by creating a second folder under srv slash salt named bash rc. Now copy the bash rc file from root to this folder. Copy root slash bash rc to srv salt slash bash rc. Note we left off the period intentionally so that it doesn't hide the file by default. Now create a new file under srv slash salt bash rc named init.sls or init.sls. We're just going to add a few lines for ensuring that the bash rc file is managed on our minions. Add root slash dot bash rc colon. On the next line type file dot managed colon followed by dash user root dash group root dash mode zero six four Four, and lastly, dash source salt colon slash slash bash rc 
slash bash rc. Go ahead and save the file, exit init.sls, and open up bash rc. We're going to scroll down and enable force color prompt. Now save the file. If we ran salt star state dot sls bash rc right now, it would ensure that all of our minions would have exactly the same bash rc file with a color text prompt enabled. Don't worry about running it right now though. We're going to talk about salt's high state functionality. Salt by default looks for a file named top dot sls under srv slash salt. Let's go ahead and create that file now. Inside this file, start out by typing base colon at the top. Under that, let's add star colon. Everything under this will apply to all minions, and for now, let's just add dash bash rc. Now under that section, add in quotes prod minion with Apache underneath it. Now save the file and exit. Run salt star state dot high state. What salt is now going to do is go through your top dot sls file and begin targeting each minion with the salt states that we've specified. Both minions are going to have their bash rc file updated if it doesn't match the one that we've specified. And prod minion will also check to ensure that Apache is installed. The power of using high state is that at any time we can tell all of our servers to configure themselves exactly how we want them to be in top.sls. You can also run high state on a specific minion or groups of minions at a time. Another option is to target minions using grains, which we'll cover in a later episode. For now, we'll show you one final trick related to states. Hop on one of the minions, become root, and run cron tab dash E. We're going to add two lines to the cron tab file. The first one is just at reboot salt call state dot high state. The second line is zero 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 asterisk 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 salt call state dot high state. Go ahead and save and exit. From now on, anytime the server is restarted, Assault state dot high state will be called and will also be triggered automatically at midnight. Well, that's plenty to cover for now. We hope you're starting to see how easy it is to manage servers with salt. Look for our videos in the future as we'll be covering pillars, grains, salt mines, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and please feel free to leave anything in the comments that you might like to see in the future or even just questions or observations that you've had. Thank you. Bye bye.